Hey guys, I'm Mom Seo Choko Abilago. Welcome to another awesome video. So, Nigeria restricts Binance other assets, other others assets months after lifting ban. So basically, Nigeria wants to do what they did to Twitter by restricting assets, network assets to cryptocurrency exchanges in the bid to, you know, stop exchange rate manipulation. Now, that is trying to put bandage without actually treating the wound, okay? Put bandage on the wound without actually trying to treat the wound. Nigeria has a supply issue or an earning issue when it comes to FX, okay? And let me say this, the P2P market on Binance is not the reason for the increase in the rate on the exchange rate. Though some sources say that uh, due to investigation, uh, some BDC people say that they are getting their rate from Binance P2P, which to me is dog shit, because I've monitored both the FX market, the black market rate of USD, and managed the P monitor the P2P, and I find out that the P2P is following the black market rate. I will show you something in a minute. All right, so. When I saw what this news, I checked the crypto market P2P, it dropped. Now, it didn't drop because of the, that the government did something right. People left out of fear because people started circulating fear messages about government coming for your deposit and people started panicking and removed their orders from the market. Now, when people remove their order from the market, guess what will happen? Guess what will happen? Rates will drop okay rest will drop now i went over to paga this morning to see if i will fund my virtual dollar card on paga and guess what is the rate still 1920 <laughs> and binance p2p never got to 1920 yesterday it never did Maybe on the spot side it might it touched no on the spot side it touched one thousand nine something, but it came right down after that. I will show you guys in a bit. So where is Paga getting their rate? Where is Aboko FX getting their rate? Where is Cheaper Catch getting their rate? Because it definitely it's not P two P. It's not crypto P two P. Definitely it's not crypto P two P. I will show you guys in a minute. All right, so here is the USDT Naira spot on Binance Exchange. If you look here, this is daily candle, okay? Daily candle. So each candle you're seeing is a day, okay? Let me move myself over here. You can see that the Naira only got as high as 1,900, okay? That's the highest it got to then went as low as 1003 plus after the news or after the news spread and people out of peer, fear sold their positions okay the usdt positions and the naira crash now it's back up again to almost 1007. see these studies that i are using are not solving the problem the major problem is that Nigeria has a supply issue of dollar. We have an earning issue. If you are spending more than you earn, you have a problem. Now, in the case of Nigeria, when we are spending more than we earn, guess what we are doing? We are printing more money into, the, into circulation. In my previous video, I told you guys that the government is behind the inflation by printing more money and spreading more money in the economy. So it's not buying us. So, bottom line, Binance and crypto platforms are not the problem. Any BDC person that is looking at Binance P2P to pick his rate should be arrested. That's number one. Number two is there should be transparency in the FS market. Because only the banks, mostly the banks have access to, uh, what's it called? 
the import IRE window, which is the import export window, and it's not even transparent. You can't even go there to see what the position of the market is. So we have to rely on Google, and you also have to have to rely on customs, because yesterday I think customs raised their exchange rate to one thousand six. Okay, to one thousand six. So there is no transparency in the FS market. The BDCs who get the dollar from the government should be held responsible for not marking their price according to the previous day's price on the IRA window. And most importantly, when government they when there's transparency in the FS market and BDCs are held responsible for what they are doing, market manipulation, the prices on crypto P2Ps will drop. It's as simple as that. So stop blaming crypto.